Hi, welcome to Zopac Medical. This video will explain how to use the Zopac Explore Oxygen UPS battery. When you receive your battery, you should have six different things. Number one is the battery. Number two is a user manual. Number three, a fast car charger. Number four, a wall charger that has two components. It has the plug and also the AC adapter. A travel pouch and a nice storage box that it comes along with. The first thing you do when you receive your battery is to charge your battery. We recommend you to charge it overnight. Depending on the capacity level, Zopac Explore Oxygen can take up to about 12 hours to charge. And uh, please note that charging initially is not linear. The battery is calibrating itself, so it might be stuck at a number for a while, like hours, and that's normal and it's okay. So it's easiest to just um, charge it overnight, not look at the capacity counter, and um, when it's fully charged, 100% it will indicate on the capacity counter FF, which stands for full. To run the CPAP machine, it's very simple. You would just plug in the AC outlet in the front. Notice that they look a little different because they are universal outlets that can plug in plugs from all over the world. Now, to run it, uh, let me do a demonstration. Here we have a dream station and um, just like you would normally plug into the wall, you will plug into the AC outlet on the battery. To turn on the battery, you will press and hold the top of the on and off switch to turn on the battery and the capacity uh, counter will uh, light up. And then you have to um, slide the AC outlet switch to on and the red LED light will light up. That means there is power to the outlets. And you can see that now the Dream Station um, powers up and um, the CPAP runs. It's that simple. So make sure um, there's no adapters needed. There's no worry. It's very simple. You just plug it in and it runs. To set up for UPS. So um, all you have to do is plug in your wall charger. Again, the charging port is on the side and you will plug it in the wall. Now make sure that it, it's already charged at 100%. So the indicator should say FF because we want to have 100% of the reserve power to run your CPAP machine when there is a power outage. So um, once it's plugged in, um, please wear your mask and look at the capacity counter with your machine running. And it should stay at FF or 100% when it's working correctly. If the power consumption of the machine is drawing over the limit of the UPS pass-through, it will start draining a little bit. Please just turn down uh, maybe one setting on your heated tube or maybe your heated humidifier if you're close to max. You shouldn't have any issues, but if you do, uh, you can do that and see if um, it will stay at 100%. And if there's any issues, uh, please call us or contact us at Zopac Medical. You can find our contact information on our website and we'll help you right away, okay? Now, to charge 
uh, with your car, it's the same thing. You plug in this to your 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter in your car or your RV, and then the, you use the same charging port. And this is a fast car charger, 45 watts, which um, uh, is almost as fast as charging uh, at home. Um, now, there is an optional solar panel if you go to a um, remote area, and it's the same thing. It comes in uh, with two plug. Uh, just uh, open up your solar panel wherever you are in a sunny area, and you just plug in to the charging port, okay, and charge. Now, some people like to put the solar panel on top of the car and then put the battery inside the car and they're gone hiking for all day and then when they come back, it's fully charged. So, so it comes with an extension cord that, that's why there are two plugs. And then you just plug in the extension cord and then charge your battery. So hopefully that explains how it works. And if you have any more questions, please visit us at zopac.com and contact us with any questions you have. Thank you.